often struggle with deciding what to present and how to present in an IELTS Academic Writing Task 1 response. Today, we will take a closer look at IELTS Academic Writing Task 1 task achievement and the features you need to include in your response to get band 7 or above. In Academic Writing Task 1, you will be shown a diagram, a visual way to represent the information. You may be shown one or more than one diagram. The visual diagram or the information can be shown as table, chart, diagram, process, graph or even a map. You will also be given a rubric that is summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. As part of the task, you will need to write an introduction, write an overview, a summary of what you see and present and highlight the key features or the main ideas with some figures or data. Let's take a closer look about them. The reason behind writing introduction is you have you just have to tell the examiner what are you writing about and it is basically the question paraphrased for example what the diagram is about the data source and when it was collected it can mean one sentence or even two sentences if there are two diagrams in just one task do's and don'ts for writing an introduction write clear introduction paraphrase the question prompt use synonyms and phrase uh, and phrases for non-key information for example unemployment so it should be people who are unemployed use keywords or introduce all charts, diagrams, or tables. Don'ts. So don't present irrelevant information, for example, why exists and the X exists. Copy the question prompt word for word. Change the keyword, change the information in keyword uh, to inaccurate synonyms, for example, unemployed female, unemployed females in Australia to unemployed girls in O's. The overview in your response should summarize what you see in the visual diagram. It should summarize the main trends, changes, stages, developments and noticeable features. You need to present a clear overview to read a band 7 and higher. A test taker with band 7 present clear overview with main differences, trends or stages. A test taker with band 6 presents overview with appropriately selected data and the band 5, uh, the test taker with band 5 recounts data mechanically with no clear overview. Do's and don'ts for the overview. Use linking words, look for trends, summarize the future trends and highlight any change in the overall trend. Don'ts. Don't include data or figures in your overview. Highlight key features with data and include everything in the overview. So that's it for now. I'll be back with another video about the key features in writing task 1. So bye for now.